Hey there guys, today we're taking a look at Crisis Remastered running on the i5 1135G7. Now this is with the game set at 720p, lowest possible settings, and the performance on here is not fantastic. There will be moments where it's okay, it's passable, it'll be around the 40s to, you know, sometimes dipping down to the 30s, but those 1% lows will show you how bad it can get, and specifically High intense fights are going to lead to some crazy frame drops. The performance is just not very consistent. If you play this game extremely, extremely slow, you know, you like to sneak up on every enemy and just assassinate them like that, you can get away with this. But as it stands, with the settings that it's at, the performance just is not there. And it's kind of disappointing that it's like that. But I mean, this is a pretty demanding game. But even then, we've gotten pretty decent performance out of some relatively demanding games so it's very disappointing to see how it actually performs on here again if you're in less intense areas you know like the fights are just you sneaking up on enemies and taking them out it's fine you know you'll be you'll be above 30 the frame times will be more consistent but as soon as things get intense you're fighting off tanks and stuff like that it starts to really get crazy let me jump ahead a little bit and actually show you how bad it can get so this is just a little bit further up in the campaign and of course the performance just takes a nosedive as soon as we just start getting into some big action fighting off multiple enemies the performance just drops off a cliff I mean, it gets so bad that I would just pretty much describe this as unplayable. I mean, look at those frame times just going up and down like that. It is insane how bad it can get. And when the destruction gets involved, vehicles get involved, it just really falls apart. I would say that this game is just not playable at these settings on here. You could drop the resolution down lower if you want. But I mean, at that point, why are you even playing this? I think this is just one of those games where I would chalk it up as not playable on this system at all. Which, again, very unfortunate, but it is a extremely demanding game. I mean, we are at the lowest settings right now, at 720p, and the game still looks very good. So it's one of those things where you just can't bring it down low enough visually to really allow it to run properly on here. I mean, just look, using this shotgun just kills the frame rate it's insane how bad it can get so overall i'd say this game is a bust it's not worth it it's not gonna give you a good experience on here because again look as soon as the action dies down the frame rate is to the point where it's more consistent those frame times are looking good but again as soon as the action starts when the game itself is actually being played it just falls apart so with that being said, that is enough for me today, guys. I will see you guys next time when we're uh, taking a look at uh, hopefully a game that is actually playable on here because this is just very unfortunate. Probably going to be looking at some more classic titles just to see what kind of gaming experience we can get on here because it really seems like, at least from my testing, 6th and 7th generation console games run relatively well on here. So we're definitely going to be looking at some classics so I will see you guys next time. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed and check out those affiliate links down below if you'd like to support the channel and get yourself a system that is still very portable, just you won't be able to play Crisis on there. But hey, you can play a lot of very, very good games on here and I would argue a lot of games that are better than Crisis.